Hello everyone, welcome to the Intuitive Painting of the Week for May 21st, 2018 um, in, in the week coming up. So this is kind of an energetic forecast of, of what's happening and we're doing it through painting. So this is the painting that came out of our intentions. I collect some intentions, I um, ask for requests for the intention for this week's painting and I'll share those with you. Um, there's quite a few. They were letting go of all that no longer serves, flowing with source, being filled up with amazing and beautiful life, allowing the best self, creating more loving memories, having space for quiet and peace, finding a home, putting down roots, laughter, staying focused on my dream, deeper connection with spirit, and acceptance of all our parts, none better or worse, all good. So that's what went into this painting, and I'm going to go ahead and just walk through. Um, maybe you've seen the time-lapse video of it already and saw how it came about. I'm going to talk a little bit about that and let you know what uh, is coming through with this one here. So I'll see you soon. All right, so let's dive right in. One of the first things that came up, if you watched the, the video of how it was created, was... Um, and I don't know if you can tell from there. I'm going to hold it up so you can kind of see. Right in this area where the, the red and that, um, when I, and it came all the way up to here, when I pulled the paper up, um, some of the paint pulled up and pulled a layer of this watercolor paper up with it. And... Oftentimes, if I have that happen or I have um, little paint splotches that need to be removed or th things like that, I, of I say that that's like an obstacle that's being removed um, from the energy field. So I kind of look at the painting as an energetic, uh, like a representation of our energy. And so it, this, it, it, for one person, in this case, it's collective. And so what's really interesting to me is, and I don't know if you've been experiencing this, a lot of people I'm talking to, and myself included, um, it feels like layers are being stripped away and kind of revealing what's inside. Some things are coming up to be um, kind of cleaned out, or like it feels like a wounds are being irrigated, things are coming up from the depth, and that's really what this is feeling like this week. And what's really interesting too is um, our Mother Earth guy is doing something very similarly right now in Hawaii with these fissures kind of um, erupting. So there's kind of this eruption in our energy center, this fire and cleansing um, coming up. And then that was the first image that that came through was this this um a layer being revealed and kind of this fiery um energy what's interesting too is though it's it's underwater so um it's kind of like this crack that's that's erupting underwater obviously so that's where seahorses live <laughs> seaweed um and so water tends to feel like emotions for me so I tend to think of emotions and so it's like this deep 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 beyond the emotional level beyond that um, it's coming up and if we look up here it's really got this really lovely texture so I want to get it close it's just this wonderful light that's coming up it and it almost feels floral it almost feels like this blooming like a an iris or something like that and when I see irises, I think of um, ascended masters, and and what's <laughs> and so when I was doing the recording of this, um, and I'm working on the editing of like the time lapse, I got to a certain point and I went to save it, and I noticed that the the time of the time lapse was three minutes thirty three seconds and three tenths of a second so it was like all these threes which um i think of as like a, a little sign from the ascended masters that uh, like christ consciousness or ascended masters are with us so definitely so going back to our intentions for this where um some people expressed an intention for a deeper connection with spirit and feeling um connection and allowing the best self and 
um, feeling a sense of home and those and peace and quiet and um, peacefulness that it, it feels like there's a huge presence of of ascended masters guides um, that we're not alone that this healing process that many of us are going through um, we're definitely supported and loved through it so that was the first area that and I and I just kind of got lost in this little it's not quite point a little because it doesn't really define anything but it's just these dots everywhere these like tapping and it's a rhythm and um, it's lots of, and, and then it goes back to the intention of acceptance of all our parts um, so it, there's many little pieces there's so many little pieces of who we are and our experiences and so many moving parts and um, all of them they all play into the whole and what we're experiencing right now and then if you look at so but so that came first then I did the then it, I this seaweed this, these grasses became very very clear to me um, I wasn't aware of the seahorse yet at that point but I did see that there was growing and I did start to feel like it was underwater and then um, once the seaweed was in place then I saw the seahorse and again with that um, and if you watch the video I spent probably half an hour just on the seahorse and of course the time lapse is like sped up and, and edited but if you look at all the little dots I'll see if I can get it to focus in but it's just it's it's kind of like made up of little dots all the little pieces that make up that that seahorse image it's not really solid it's many many pieces in one so again that's that wholeness uh, many pieces but still very very whole the seahorse feels feels very solid and as a symbol the seahorse is kind of this um, it's an unchanging being it's it hasn't really evolved that much in in since as, as long as we know um, as, as science knows like it's it's changed or it hasn't changed much or if at all so that as a symbol is kind of like that enduring spirit I think of that as um, the unchanging parts of ourselves you know and also it's a symbol of like persistence so here's what's interesting um, through all this change we've got this symbol of persistence and then it's almost his tail or her tail I think it's a, I don't know <laughs> so the tail is making almost this infinity symbol to me and that's what I keep hearing when I'm looking at it is hold hold on to the dream but let go of the struggle so we can be persistent and still let go of things that no longer serve us so the seahorse is almost just kind of witnessing the healing of the ocean bottom but and allowing it to just flow away and while at the same time holding on to what's important and what and, and this almost this home feeling this little area this little cove I love this deep purple behind it it almost just feels like you could go in there and be very safe and then across so it's kind of like dividing here on this other side eventually and and they're kind of the seahorse is kind of looking at this this other area here so it's like being comfortable and safe in your space while looking you know going through this healing and looking at what is to be and it's interesting too so I like to divide I like to put a line right in the middle and look at what's below that line as what's coming into our awareness so things that are very low down here um, are very deep um, I don't like to say subconscious but I guess that's probably the best term I can come up with um, but down here would be stuff that we're not fully aware of yet but that's kind of been, there definitely feels like there's this movement so there's a lot of stuff around creativity and um, those two lower chakras like are so there's probably some healing happening with um, our foundational survival home and 
our connection to the earth and those kinds of things and then moving up and I think a lot of people are feeling this healing and this new awareness of their creativity and their connection to other people through creativity and then something that may have been um, coming up and I think that the seahorse also is is representing this energy too is like that that solar plexus that personal identity those kinds of things that's been coming up a lot in these paintings and it feels like that's like starting to kind of flow up and we're moving into this next like I think a lot of us are healing those lower levels um, right now and so and and thinking about the different colors and the different energy centers in the body so the green could represent the heart so the um, seahorse could be holding on to that heart centeredness too staying focused it's very very focused um, intention like the the seahorse feels very focused and intent um, kind of the gaze looking again in this area and there's just this little I'm just noticing this now I'm gonna kind of like this little blah I don't know I don't want to call it a blah but I don't know if you can see that right in here. There's something that just kind of caught my attention. It's just like this floating thing. So there's something interesting there. Um, a little bit of this. This feels very angelic. So that's kind of hovering over them. But yeah, definitely the message that is coming to me from this is let go of the struggle allow yourself to heal especially in those um, deep recessed stuff that maybe you've been putting off dealing with for a long time just let it come up and flow out and let it be cleansed um, and just but stay focused on the dream stay focused don't so let go of the struggle hold on to the dream um, I also feel like you'll know the right time to move you'll know the right time to take action it may not be right this moment right this moment is it's time for that kind of um, releasing and cleansing and deep eh, I don't want to say detoxing more of just like a releasing it's kind of releasing all this stuff into the, the water and and the and changing as it comes up into this clear white yeah, I'll give you one more look at all through the painting, some of the details. I'd love to hear from you and, and tell me what else you see in here, because I know there's lots in here. It almost feels like a figure or something down there in that area. I'll post a maybe I'll post a picture of it in the group. Yeah. Oh, so that's our intuitive painting for the week of May 21st, 2018. Have a wonderful week.